My favorite definition of humility is to think of oneself rightly, neither too high nor too low. Humility by this definition has many facets for a team. First, it demands self-awareness. Humble team members know both their individual strengths and their weaknesses. They recognize their dependence that's created by their weaknesses, and they accept that they need to also rely on others. Further, they recognize that their strengths are to be used to serve and cover others' weaknesses. Their humble self-awareness prevents them from deriving value from evaluating their strengths over others and ignoring their own flaws. Instead, humility allows us to accept both our strengths and weaknesses and to accept the strengths and weaknesses of others. A second and related facet has to do with trust in a team. Humility allows us to disagree and commit, trusting in the collective strength and wisdom of the team. It leaves us open to learning, open to being challenged, open to admitting that we're wrong. Third, humility allows us to celebrate team wins above our own and focus ourselves intently on the full team success. Fourth, it allows us to approach differences of style, opinion, motivation, and communication with first and foremost a desire to understand and to learn. All right, so let's talk about honesty. And what do I mean by honesty? My favorite definition of honesty is saying the last 10%. And let me explain. How many times have you sat in a meeting and thought, B but simply smiled and nodded instead? How many times has someone on your team done something and you've said it's great and then went in and changed all of it yourself? Or how many times have you known you needed to have a challenging conversation but ended up softening it so much that the person couldn't even tell that something was wrong? High levels of true honesty force humility or the lack thereof, to the surface. When honesty is lacking, false humility and cowardice can flourish, masquerading as humility. Honesty forces us to face the personal and interpersonal issues head on. It leaves little room for us to sweep it under the rug. Honesty, it also encourages us to be self-aware, requiring ourselves to be honest with ourselves. Honesty also influences our dependability. When we say yes, it's a yes. When we say we'll get the job done, we will get the job done. Honesty lets us know when we're wrong, and it allows us to hold others accountable when they're wrong. What happens when you combine humility and honesty is incredible. And we'll talk about all of that in the next video. And I'm going to show you a quick way that you can begin fostering high levels of both humility and honesty inside your company.